open it up with your thoughts on tonight's performance. Well, I really liked we got off to a fast start. You know, we had a you know ten point lead pretty early. Uh, I like when we show up ready to go and and start uh, having the type of intensity to be a really good team. Uh, we got contributions from a lot of players today. Uh, we got some c good contributions off the bench from Alyssa and Kirsty Phils and. Uh, you know, Naz was scoring a lot for us early, so uh, just a lot of people making good contributions, and it, it's a good win, and uh, we'll go from here. Your thoughts on the defensive effort? Our defense has been better, uh, you know, since uh, after Christmas. We've really uh, picked up our execution on the defensive end. We Our positioning is better. Uh, I'd say our communication is better, but today we had a we had a few miscommunications that uh, we're going to have to clean up. Uh, you know, part of it is Lipscomb's a good three-point shooting team, and they did not shoot the three well today. Uh, so that uh, worked against them, obviously, and gave us a chance to extend a lead and, and put them in a, a position where they had to extend and, and do some things to get back in the game. The last time we talked uh, was before conference play started. You said that this team had the potential to be a good enough team to make a run, but you weren't sure yet. Now you're five and zero. Oh. How much more confident are you in this group now, five games into conference play? Um, I'm more confident in that uh, we're playing better defense. Uh, you know, there's still some things in, in terms of being a mature team that uh, you can count on day in and day out that still needs to be addressed. Uh, you know, we need players to make good decisions all the time and you know despite I mean we played well but we still had 18 turnovers we still had miscommunications we still have plenty of things that we need to get better at and how we approach practice is going to determine if we actually do get better um, so you know if you win a game and how do you handle it do you think uh, we really don't have you know much to get better at or do you look at all the things that could have been better and really make an effort to improve those things and that's that's where I'm really looking for some leadership on the team where we start taking each practice and each drill and practice more seriously. Naz you went 5 of 12 from deep the mantra of the team is raining threes just how big is that for you guys when you're able to come out and to knock down shots consistently like you were tonight? Um, we always emphasize just having like uh, good releases and being locked in. So, um, a lot, a huge part of our game is hitting threes. So when we do hit threes, the game does feel better. Um, people do start knocking down shots, so it's fun. You, fun, fun was the key word. You guys seem like you have fun from start to finish. What is it about this group that makes it fun to play with your teammates? Um, well, Smasco always emphasizes good basketball is fun. So, trying to play good basketball throughout the. Um, whole game is what we try to do. You and Destiny before the game, like that's kind of your thing. You're pumping everybody up, getting hype. Like what's that about? Just yeah, she thinks she's a better dancer than I am, but day in and day out, I prove her wrong. So it's always fun. <laughs> Lisa, you scored three points tonight, but it's shocking that someone could dictate a game so much offensively, only scoring three points. What was your objective personally tonight? Um, I mean, I'm really I'm trying to make the right decision, and today I just didn't see a lot of opportunities to score. But I tried to find my teammates and just try to find the open shot. And today was more to passing than scoring myself. When you have someone like Naz who's willing and able to knock down open shots like she was tonight, how much easier does that make your job as a point guard? It does make it a lot easier because um, we have so many good shooters. So I just have to find one that's open, and hopefully they knock down a shot and. It makes it easy to play offense with my teammates. <laughs> Carl, your thoughts on just the development of both of the ladies sitting next to you as players since they've got here. Naz as an offensive scorer and Lisa kind of as a facilitator and true point guard. Well, I, pr I'm proud of Naz. Uh, she grew up a lot. She was probably our most improved player from freshman to sophomore year. And then she's taken another huge step forward this year. Uh, and it's not just her scoring. She's she's a much much better defender than when she first got here. She's more committed to it. Uh, recently, she told me she even enjoys playing it. So that uh, is steps in the right direction. And then 
you know, Lisa has really been really good the whole time she's been here. But I like that she's continuing to pick up little things and become more efficient all the time. Uh, she's just an outstanding all-around player and uh, outstanding point guard. Uh, similarly, Ty was someone that was here. Was she okay? I know she got hit in the eye. Yeah, she's she's good. Just um, the contributions that she makes down in the paint, obviously, is a force on the board. Well, I, I'm definitely Ty's, you know, biggest fan. And I know a lot of people, you know, she'll play a game and, like, today I'll, she'll score two points, uh, largely because – you know she's not as aggressive offensively as she can be she wants to share the ball and she wants to rebound and she wants to defend she wants to do all those things that usually you have to beg players to do uh, but she makes so many plays and so many things happen I don't know that there's many uh, big kids like her who can handle the ball like her make decisions with the ball like her and basically who defends and rebounds like her she's one of the best players in the conference but uh, a lot of times she doesn't get the recognition just because she's not looking to score as much as maybe she's capable of. Last one that I would have would be, uh, you guys graduated five seniors last year, some of which are some of the best players to ever come through this program. Here you are 5-0 and in the conference, 14-4 and overall. Anything about this group surprise you, and what do you think this group can accomplish? Well, I don't know that anything surprised me. Um, you know, we've steadily improved throughout the season. Uh, we knew we still had, even though we lost some really good players, we felt like we had some good players returning and they would have to take on a bigger role and they've done it and done it really well. And then we knew we had some players that were, you know, sitting out or, or didn't play a lot last year that uh, were capable players and if they continue to improve they were going to be uh, really good for us and you know they've done that and I, I still don't think you know there's some kids on our team that you know they still have a another level that they could get to this year and that would make that would make a big difference for us. Ty tonight became the third player with 700 career rebounds in program history. Can you talk about where she ranks among the players that have come through this program in terms of her rebounding ability? Well she's I mean she's the best. Uh, she pursues the ball and grabs it with two hands and goes after it and competes for it. Uh, has great instincts. Uh, you know, you call it a rebounding radius where, you know, you get some kids who will only get the ball that comes directly to them. You know, she'll get a ball that she has no business getting. It'll be eight, nine feet away from her and she'll just go get it. Uh, so she's, uh, you know, when my first year here we had uh, Robin Swain, who was an excellent rebounder. She was 6'4", and, you know, she was around the basket, and she got more rebounds than Ty in a particular season. But we've never had anybody who's gone after the ball as well as Ty. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Yes.